Once a pilot receives a holding clearance, they now need to determine the most appropriate entry to the hold based on their location to the fix and clearance. Oftentimes, student pilots struggle with determining the best entry to make for a hold. One of the best ways to fix this issue is to better identify circumstances that dictate the hold entry. Here are ways to quickly recognize the best hold entry procedure just by examining the parts of the hold and the airplane's direction of flight to the fix. After the pilot turns the aircraft to the fix and their direction of flight is with the flow or the same general direction of the inbound leg, the pilot should do a direct entry. If the pilot turns the aircraft to the fix and their direction of flight is against the flow of the inbound leg, the pilot should conduct either a teardrop or parallel entry. To determine which of the two is best, the pilot should visualize the plane flying directly to the fix and then continue past the fix on the same heading. What the pilot crosses next will be used to determine if a teardrop or parallel entry is best. If the pilot were to fly through the fix and intercept the outbound leg, they should conduct a teardrop entry. If the pilot were to fly through the fix into the non-holding area, they should conduct a parallel entry. Once a pilot has this understanding, visualizing a hold on the horizontal situation indicator or heading indicator becomes much easier. Here are three examples of how a pilot visualizes a hold with these basic tips on a heading indicator after receiving clearance from air traffic control and how they conduct the hold according to their hold clearance. Let's examine three examples of a pilot being assigned a hold from air traffic control, how they determine their leg headings and entry procedures based on the tips earlier in this video, and how they become established on the hold and conduct the assigned hold according to their air traffic control instructions. Example 1. If a pilot was flying southeast along Victor 3533 at 7,000 feet mean sea level, and air traffic control instructs, Epic 500, hold southwest at Oki on Victor 533, two nautical mile legs. Expect further clearance at 1438 Zulu. The pilot would repeat their holding clearance to air traffic control and fly directly to the Oki fix. The pilot would also slow the aircraft to at least 230 knots because they are holding between 6,001 and 14,000 mean sea level, at least three minutes prior to reaching Oki. While approaching Oki, the pilot determined that Victor 533 is the Orlando Vortac Radial 049, which will be the inbound leg heading. The outbound leg heading would be the reciprocal of 049, which is 229. With the leg headings figured out, the pilot visualized the hold on their HSI and determined that they should make a teardrop entry because their direct course to the fix is against the flow of the inbound leg, and if they were to fly through the fix, they would cross the outbound leg. Upon reaching Oki, the pilot would turn to a heading of 199, based on teardrop entry procedures. Remember Lars? fly for one minute, make a standard rate turn to the inbound heading, intercept and track the inbound leg, and notify air traffic control they are established on the hold. When reaching Oki after becoming established on the hold, the pilot will make a standard rate right turn hold. But instead of timing the hold, the pilot would fly an outbound leg until they are two nautical miles from Oki, then make a standard rate right turn inbound, intercept and track the inbound leg, Continue the hold until 1438 Zulu and continue from the hold according to air traffic control clearance. Example 2. If a pilot was flying northwest along Victor 7, 521 at 8,000 feet mean sea level and air traffic control instructs, Epic 500. Hold southeast at Shady as published. One minute legs. Expect further clearance at 1550 Zulu. The pilot would repeat their holding clearance to air traffic control and fly directly to the shady fix. The pilot would also slow the aircraft to at least 230 knots because they are holding between 6,001 and 14,000 mean sea level at least three minutes prior to reaching shady. Since the hold at shady is published, the pilot would need to refer to their en route chart and determine the inbound and outbound headings. The published hold at Shady is along Victor 7, 521, which is the 126 radial from the Montgomery Vortac. Since the pilot is flying to the MGM Vortac, their inbound heading for the hold would be the reciprocal of 126, which is 306. While approaching Shady, after the pilot figured out the inbound and outbound headings, they visualized the hold on their HSI 
and determine that they should make a direct entry since the pilot is flying the same general direction as the inbound leg. When the pilot reaches Shady, the pilot will conduct a direct entry, make a right standard rate turn, fly the outbound leg, make a right standard rate turn, and report that they are established on the hold to air traffic control when they are on the inbound leg, and will conduct a timed right turn hold with one minute legs until 1550 Zulu, and continue from the hold according to air traffic control clearance. Example 3. If a pilot was flying southeast along Victor 35 at 4,000 feet mean sea level, and air traffic control instructs, Epic 500, hold southwest at Sabi on the 200 radial. Left turns, expect further clearance at 1505 Zulu. The pilot would repeat their holding clearance to air traffic control and fly directly to the Sabi fix. The pilot would also slow the aircraft to at least 200 knots because they are holding below 6,000 feet mean sea level at least 3 minutes prior to reaching Sabi. While approaching Sabi, the pilot figured out the inbound heading is 020 and the outbound heading is 200. The pilot then visualized the hold on their HSI and determined that they should make a parallel entry because their direct course to the fix is against the flow of the inbound leg, and if they flew past the fix, they would enter the non-holding side of the hold. When the pilot reaches Sabi, the pilot will conduct a parallel entry by flying the outbound heading 200 for one minute after crossing the fix and turning right to fly back inbound. Remember POTS? Until intercepting the inbound leg, 020, report they are established on the hold to air traffic control when they are on the inbound leg and will conduct a timed left turn hold with one minute legs until 1505 Zulu and continue from the hold according to air traffic control clearance. Although hold entries can be difficult to determine at first, using these helpful guidelines in visualizing the hold on the HSI or heading indicator will help lessen a pilot's task saturation and properly enter a hold. Be sure to like our video and subscribe for more epic content. And while you're here, check out some of our more recent videos and playlists.